Lindell Moore handling. Gills gets it back to him in the first three on the way, and that's exactly how they got things going in the carrier dorm set. He handing off here for Horton, who hits 42% beyond the three-point line. And another turnover, Bancaro, Gee right behind him in the slam. Exploit the turnover problems for Pittsburgh, Paolo Bancaro out of the break. The rest of college basketball. He leaning in, swatted away, more good defense. Theo John got up there. At this point, Obi, I think we can say they're just tough to get a shot off again. <laughs> I'm not sure how Griffin got that shot off <laughs> and banked it in. Well, Duke right now is in the driver's seat to win the ACC, and Coach K still got it. He rising up and got his hand on it. Man, does he get up quick, too. I also think he's enjoying it a great deal this final season and this amazing career. A little fall away by Williams. Followed up and the slam by Griffin. Duke has not won an outright ACC championship since 2006. Oh, there we go, Big John. John Hughley, that Big John with the step. Getting off to a great start here in the second half, the tip dunk, but yet not won an outright ACC championship. That really shows you the quality of the league as Mark Williams returns the favor. He certainly did. Williams with the jam, the 7-1 sophomore. Demi Odakali. Gordon with a the bounce, they want to go inside for Hughley again. And the reverse, a sweet shot for two. Finish it off, and then when you think about going up against the ACC's best shot blocker, and again, that's really where they've been different. They've been better on the road this season than they have at home, and that's probably the easiest bucket Trevor Kills will get on the day, but he'll take it. Burton had a nice first half for Pitt. Led them back at least for a while, and he sticks that one. Holding those players to 33% from the field, 25% from beyond the three-point arc. Lundell Moore certainly had an all-ACC season. That rattles in for Paulo. On balance. And again, you, he, this is a special talent. I'm not sure everyone in this league recognizes the fact that we're seeing. Duke may be the only team in the ACC running four or five pick and rolls with he and Wood. I guess who's showing up in the second half, too. Trevor Keels buries another one. Pitt's not getting to the foul line either, which is really the only way they're going to have any success in a night like tonight. They do get it underneath for Hughley. Hughley would get contact, but because Mark Williams is such a great shot blocker, he doesn't have to contact and he can try to meet him up top. Speaking of great, Trevor Keels is having not just a good night now, a great night. Otokali, Hughley. Way downtown, and a jumper on target by Horton, who was away from the team for about three months. She's going to be on the Coach K cast at ACC Network as well. He high up and drops in a pair. A tough assignment as well, not only offensively, but defensively. He's going to block Ben Caro here, and it's be out of play off Duke. He said, I'm always looking ahead. Ben Carroll. That's going to rattle in. Nice touch by the freshman. Yeah, Coach K talked to us about that as well. He was He's proud of this team for the way that they have played on the road. And when you consider it's an 18-year-old and a 19-year-old getting it done here. And an, a, another opportunity here to get Coach K's 201st ACC road with Roach with a determined drive for two. Hughley straight on, got it, give him a triple. I think they should just make that part of the, the Hall of Fame Museum as Coach K's office. John goes and stays in his office or goes somewhere different. Griffin, tough drive and one. But not just a shooter, the ability to finish through contact as well. And the Blue Devil. 58-40 Duke. Hughley, another touch, trying to get inside of Williams and Ben Carroll. That's a tall tap. And so right now, he's not only getting buckets, but he's putting uh, racking up fouls on the Blue Devils. A crowd of 10 or 11,000 here. Gee jumping out for the block. Got his fingertips on it. Hughley races to the other end. ACC career as a head coach was the beating he took from Virginia early in his career. <laughs> and he said that was life-changing and program-changing for the Blue Devils. And Caro straight on with a triple. Paulo Ben Carroll, the 6'10 freshman. This is the biggest lead here for Duke. Cut into just a little bit by Femi Otakale, the 6'5 sophomore. 
And Oda Kali got off to a great start. His ACC career, 25 points for him in his debut versus Miami a year ago. And wondering what the ACC tournament debut will look like for A.J. Griffin. Duke, by the way, 9 for 17 beyond that three. But look at the defense by Kills. You're talking about a guy who's had a great offensive start and still continues to get the job done. Last meeting of the regular season at Cameron Indoor. And another turnover just thrown away by Horton. Griffin in the lane, sweetly done again. That's my brother, no question about it. My other brother, Grant Hill, name drop, or shout out, whichever you call it. Now feels. feels as though, oh, okay, Trevor. Again. Keep, keep getting hot, Trevor. And I believe that is going to be a career high for Trevor Kills at 27. He's had multiple 25-point games, but 27 is going to be a career high. And I don't think he's going to be slowing down as Joey Baker throws another three in the mix for the Blue Devils. And if this team can shoot as half as well as the postseason comes along, you're talking not only just danger. Uh-oh. Wendell Moore with the slam. And that was during that stretch where, you know, felt like he was pressing. He was putting a little too much pressure on himself. As kills go with this, goes with the step back. Ithiel Horton up to the task on that one defensively. That's what they're averaging, 80 points a game. But holding Pitt under 50 to this point and another pick. After all the upsets, all the losses, ranked teams in front of them in the top seven. Is that was number seven? Is that my name now, Minnie? <laughs> <laughs> And the slam by Gee. Debbie Antonelli, my guy WD, a.k.a. Little Woody, West Durham, on the call as well. So I need my, my shout-out counter to come back. A shout-out for Nolan Smith, assistant for the Duke Blue Devils. A little food poisoning, unable to get to the arena today. And hopefully Nolan's feeling a lot better. Little brother. And that will be the final score, 86 to 56. Duke will clinch the number one seed in the ACC tournament and at least a share of the ACC championship. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.